Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to take mid Anubis. I'm gonna show you every utility you need to know and just make it way more safer for you and your team to take mid. Firstly, I'm gonna show you how to take close mid control like this. And then after I'm gonna show you how to take deep mid control right here. And if you learn the right utility, it's actually really really easy to do. So first of all, it's a good idea to get an instant window smoke, but if you can't do the smoke, then get a right to come right side right here. Then either with a mullo, aiming up on top of this tower right here, just running forward, will perfectly mullo off house like this. Or, you can with the smoke, just aim a little bit more down, run forward and throw a smoke, that will perfectly smoke off the house. And it's just a really really good thing to have, to deny anybody peeking this angle right here. Or even doing a flash play peeking this angle. So, then when you have this smoked, then you can get a guy to come to the left side, towards this table right here. Aiming at the top left corner right here, and throwing a mullo. And with this smoke and this model right here, your four models already taken mid because the smoke will smoke off anybody's house and the model will land right here, burning anybody playing towards right here and forcing anybody playing in the door to go all the way in the door. And then you should pretty safely just take mid like this. But if you want to make it a little bit more safe, then you can get the guy come in towards right here, aiming at this stone right here to the left and then jump throwing a flash. Which will flash anybody who's playing in the mullo, who's either trying to play forward of it, or who's swinging out after the mullo has burned. But in general, with this utility, you should be able to take mid pretty easily right here. Now that you're taking mid and want to take a little bit more deep mid, there's two ways that you can do it. One way, which is probably the safest way for me, is that you're smoking this glass off right here, and this mulloing this, and getting a flash to come over here. To do that, you'll get one guy in here, who's also going to be the guy who's throwing this flash right here for your team to take close mid. Then when they're ready, you're going to find this corner right here, aim a little bit up and then just jump for a smoke. And right after that, find this black arrow right here, go a little bit to the right of the top of it, and then just run forward and jump throw. The smoke will smoke off camera perfectly, and this flash right here flashes anybody who's trying to fight in front of the smoke, or just playing close like this. Then you want the guy to go close into the middle right here, and then when he's standing into this corner, just aim, there's like a gap down here, aim right here shown, and then sneak forward and jump through. This mullo land perfectly in camera and force anybody who's playing camera all the way back. And with this mullo and smoke, you should be able to pretty safely take mid control. The only position you need to be focused on is a guy who's playing this position right here, a guy who's playing close like this, or sometimes somebody hides into smoke, or you can place this close angle right here. If you're just aware of this position by either spraying them, by clearing them, or just checking if they are there, it should be pretty safe to take mid. You can also take mid by just smoking off camera. To do that, come into the same color that you molded it, and crouch and aim at this stair right here, where it's looking a little bit different on the end, and then just jump for a smoke. And this smoke will give you a perfect camera smoke to also take mid. Just be aware, this is a really really common angle for all of us to hold. So that you aren't smoking this off, I'm just going to give them a little bit more of an angle. So mostly I would recommend just smoking this off, also because it denies them from holding this angle. So that's how to take mid on Anubis. This was the most general nades, and with these nades you're just going to be so good at taking Anubis and can do it a lot more safe. And if you like this video, then consider giving it a like and subscribe.